Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my iPhone. I've done this video before. I can't remember if I did it once or if I've done it twice. I think I've only done it once, so I'm going to check really quick when the last time it was that I posted this video. I honestly, honestly feel like I only did it once, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, so I've only done it once. I had long hair. I'm going to show you guys what's on my iPhone, and then I'm also going to show you guys which apps I use the most right now especially right now during like quarantine like we're all home and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might be bored and you guys might want more apps or like what apps to get on so the last time I did this video I had the iPhone 9 and now I have the I think this is the iPhone XS Max right XS Max I believe that's what it is my glass screen protector is cracked I don't know if you guys want to see that that's what's on my phone. I have a cracked screen protector. And then I just have my clear phone case. I love having clear phone cases. I think in the last one I also had a clear phone case. I love having clear phone cases because you can just like see. Like I like the design of the iPhone. So I have a clear phone case. And then I have my pop socket with like lips. So that's my phone case and my pop socket. I'm going to put the screen record right here. So that way you guys can see what I'm doing on my phone. So my lock screen is just of some clouds and some stars. And I found it off of Pinterest. I thought I think I just put like cute backgrounds of stars i don't i honestly don't remember what i put so my home screen is a picture of me and my little cousin at disneyland most of the time i always have a picture of me and my little cousin as my wall screen because that's just kind of like it's always been like that and when i don't have a picture of him he'll confront me he'll be like oh i thought like what happened to my my picture or why am i not your wallpaper he told me that one time one of the times i had changed it and he was like um i thought i was your wallpaper and i was like so I moved it but I always do have pictures of him it's just usually like I like to change it up a little bit and then I'll end up putting him back onto my wallpaper onto my wallpaper so it's just a picture of me and my little cousin we probably told the joke because I'm laughing at him but it was in front of the penny arcade so on the search page it's just the regular like my alarm El Paso like what the weather is and then like the stocks and then my podcast and then my screen time my screen time is entertainment two hours and 37 minutes social networking an hour and 15 minutes and then health and fitness three minutes so that's what's on my search page and then on the main page I just have like the basics like mail calendar photos camera maps clock weather like all of that stuff it's a lot of the stuff that comes with the iPhone on the third page that I have all my apps like all the apps that I use is just FaceTime, my podcast, calculator, watch, files, shortcuts, and then extras is just whatever the iPhone comes with. I don't really use that one except for like Find My. On Find My, I just have my mom and my cousin. I just showed my address. I'm not going to put that part in. On that app, I just have Find My Cousin or Find My Mom. So that's pretty much it. I honestly don't know if my cousin still knows that I have her location. She gave it to me on Christmas because it was really foggy that night and she wanted me just to have it in case of anything so we can be able to find her. But I don't know if she knows that I still have it. So Desi, you better not take me off. And then in productivity, it's just whatever the iPhone comes with. I don't use any of these. As you guys can see, like I haven't even updated any of these. In my main, I have my YouTube studio, which is like the number one app if you guys have YouTube. The next one I have is just my Gmail. And then I have Buzzar, which I use for my thumbnails. I'll leave the video right here. I did a how I edit my thumbnails. I have Snapchat. If you guys don't have me on Snapchat, this is my username, Destiny1298. And then I have my Instagram, which is right here, Destiny at Eastbit underscore. All of my social medias are down below. If you guys don't follow me, go and follow me. I have them all linked down below. And then I have my Twitter. I don't tweet. I don't use Twitter. I just use it to like follow people and then I have Visco. I don't use Visco. I think it was supposed to be for like editing pictures, but I don't use it and then I have social blade that app doesn't work So I don't recommend it. I need to delete it actually it doesn't work So I don't know if it's just my phone or if the app just doesn't work and then I have my southwest So all my tickets go there if I'm going anywhere I have Fonto which I also use on my thumbnails and facetune which I also use on my thumbnails the next little group of apps that I use are Fire Stick, which is the Fire Stick remote. I use that one a lot when our remotes don't have batteries. The next two apps I have are Disney Plus and Netflix. Those two I've been using a lot during this time. I have Yahoo, which I have a lot of emails that I don't like go through. I need to delete a lot of them. And then I have Cooking Fever. Cooking Fever, this app, I've talked about it. And it's probably one of my favorite games to play. If you guys are bored at home, I would really recommend playing this game. Because I'll be like laying down in my room for like hours. I know it's kind of bad. But I'll be in here for hours just playing that game. Because you just get so addicted. You're like, oh my god, oh my god. And then sometimes you don't pass the level, of course. So then you want to get it. 
the only thing that sucks is that there's so many ads like you have to watch an ad pretty much every time a level ends that part honestly sucks it wasn't like that before but then they started adding ads and i was like Tch. so i kind of stopped for a while but with this whole thing of quarantine i got back into playing it tiktok i i must admit so i'm addicted to tiktok a little story behind TikTok. I actually, my little cousin had downloaded it before everybody started using it. And the videos would just repeat and repeat and repeat. And I'd be like, Papa's like, yeah, like, stop, play a different one. But now that, like, I download TikTok and, like, I'm watching them, I can see why he would watch them over and over. Because sometimes you just want to watch it over and over. The next one I've been using a lot during this whole thing is Pinterest. I like going to Pinterest and just, like, seeing different, like, houses. Like, look at this pretty house. That's so pretty. So I just like going on Pinterest during the day when I'm bored, like living in a van. I want to live in a van eventually, I swear. That's one of my goals for the future is to buy a van and just like fix it and go travel, like go to California or go to like Orlando. Like I just want to travel. And then I love Zillow. Like Zillow is an app that I love, love, love to look through. If I'm bored, I just get on Zillow and I just like play around like with the prices of the houses like to see like Oh, like that house is pretty or that house is pretty there was this one house guys i'm actually really really sad this oh wait it's for sale again <laughs> this house i've had my eye on it it's pretty pricey but i've had my eye on this house for a long time and they had it for seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven dollars did i say that right i think i did and then they just kept going lower and then just the other day, it said that it was sold. It said the house was sold. So I was like, oh, like that sucks. Like the house sold. But right now, I just got on and it's on sale again for $714,000. My camera died, so I had to put another battery. I think I was showing you guys the house, right? I think. So yeah, the house price went up like a lot. And then Freeosk, that's the app that I use when we go to Walmart to get like those free sample stuff that I always show you guys. And then I have Bitmoji, which is for Snapchat. And then I have Ten, which is like a house camera that we use for the pets. We have that, or we always have that one when we go out of town. We have that camera, like, just playing or recording when we're out of town. So that way we can just check on the house and stuff. Oh, my God. Ficeable and Music Center is for a speaker that I have downstairs. And then I have the Sprouts app, which I don't really use. And then Hum is for my car, like, if it gets hit or if I'm going fast or it can track my car. I have those apps on that one. Finances, I just have all of my banks and stuff. And then I have Pandora, which I listen to every morning. And then I have YouTube. I have Lose It. Lose It is just, like, it counts your, like, calories and stuff for your macros. And then I have Offer Up. I really wanted this tree that they had on sale. But it turned out it was fake. I like going on offer up just to see what people are selling. Even if I don't buy anything, I just like going on to see what they have. Look at this girl's cups. I just found her page. Belle, oh my god. I want that. Okay, I'm going to save this. You see, if I wouldn't have gone on right now, I wouldn't have seen that. So I have offer up and then I also have Forever 21. I haven't bought anything from Forever 21 in a really long time. I'm kind of tempted to like do another haul with you guys. I used to do Forever 21 hauls a lot, but I think I've only done like three Forever 21 haul videos, but I kind of want to do another one. So if you guys want to see a Forever 21 haul, let me know down in the comments and I can order some stuff. It might not get here quickly, but I can have a Forever 21 haul in like three weeks. I really wanted this hoodie, but they sold out. So I signed up for the wait list and hopefully they get it soon. So those are pretty much all the apps I use, especially right now during quarantine. I use the ones I use most are Pinterest, Cooking Fever, Zillow, Netflix and Disney Plus and TikTok. And then I use Instagram and Snapchat. Not really too much. I just like going in really quick and seeing who posted. And then I use YouTube, of course. And then OfferUp and Forever 21 are just apps that I get on when I'm like really bored and I don't have anything else to look on. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this little Forever... The Forever 21, huh? Oh, they're going to say that. I hope you guys like this. What's in my iPhone during like quarantine? But like what's in my iPhone and what apps I use? If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. So that way you guys don't miss a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.